Welcome back, questers, to our daily routine of opening the scriptures, aka Roots. Let's dive in and explore Genesis chapter 16. Hey, Quester community. Welcome back to our daily Quester Roots, our routine of opening the scriptures. We're over two weeks into it now. Can you believe that? Well, as you know, God's word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And if we're going to be disciples, we got to fill our minds with the Bible. And if we want our lives to bear sweet fruits, we've got to sink down deep roots. Uh, let's get rooted, Questers. Genesis chapter 16. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar. So she said to Abram, the Lord has kept me from having children. Go sleep with my slave. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed to what Sarai said. So after Abram had been living in Canaan 10 years, Sarai, his wife, took her Egyptian slave, Hagar, and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar and she conceived. When she knew that she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, you are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my slave in your arms and now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your slave is in your hands, Abram said. Do with her whatever you think is best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? I am running away from my mistress Sarai, she answered. The angel of the Lord told her, go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so much that they will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also said to her, you are now pregnant and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael. For the Lord has heard of your misery. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand against him. And he will live in hostility toward all his brothers. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. That is why the well was called Bir Lahairoi. It is still there between Kadesh and Bered. So Hagar bore Abram a son and Abram gave the name Ishmael to the son she had born. Abram was now 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. The grass withers and its flower falls away, but the word of the Lord, it endures forever. Genesis 16, a complicated and confusing chapter if I've ever read one. All sorts of puzzling questions I'm gonna have to ponder. The first one is, why did Sarai hatch this terrible plan to give her slave as a mistress to Abram to make a baby with? And why did Abram agree to go along with this plan? That wasn't part of God's promise or plan. And why did they even have a slave to begin with? This is confusing. Why? How, and how is God going to fulfill his good promises and purposes even when they're messing it up and making all sorts of mistakes? The last question I have comes from Hagar's title that she gives to the Lord, the God who sees me, the one who sees. Does God really see us all the time? He sees everything that we're doing, the good and the bad. 
Hmm. What are your questions, questers? I'd love to hear about them. Will you please write them in the comments below or send a letter, you know where it should go, to our P.O. Box. You can find the address on our website, questercommunity.com. Well, as always, I'd like to give a big ginormous thank you to two of my dear friends, Steve and Julie Knox. They've been such helpful Quester investors and gospel givers, and we just really appreciate your friendship and support. Well, I hope to see you guys all for tomorrow, Genesis chapter 17 in our Quester Roots, where we are on a quest to read through the Bible.